Emmanuel Macron is a French politician, senior civil servant, and former investment banker. Born in Amiens, he studied philosophy at Paris Nanterre University, and later graduated from the École Nationale d'Administration, INA. In 2004, he went on to become an Inspector of Finances in the Inspectorate General of Finances, IGF before becoming an investment banker at Rothschild and C-Bank, a member of the Socialist Party. P.S. From 2006 to 2009, he was designated Deputy Secretary General under François Hollande's first government in 2012, before being appointed Minister of Economy, Industry and Digital Affairs in 2014 under the second Valls government, where he pushed through business-friendly reforms. He resigned in August 2016 in order to launch a bid in the 2017 presidential election. In November 2016, Macron declared that he would stand in the election under the banner of En Marche, a movement he founded in April 2016. Early Life and Education Born in Amiens, Emmanuel Jean-Michel Frédéric Macron is the son of Jean-Michel Macron professor of neurology at the University of Picardy, and Françoise Macron Noakes, a physician. He was educated mostly at the J-Suites de la Providence at the Elite High School Isaé Henri IV. In Paris, he studied philosophy at the University of Paris West Nanterre La Défense, obtaining a DIA degree. He obtained a master's degree in public affairs at Sciences Po before training for a senior civil service career at the École Nationale d'Administration, INA, graduating in 2004. Professional Career Macron worked as an inspector of finances in the French Ministry of Economy between 2004 and 2008. In 2007, he served as deputy rapporteur for the Commission to Improve French Growth headed by Jacques Attali political career. Macron was a member of the Socialist Party, P.S., from 2006 to 2009. In 2015, he stated that he was no longer a member of the P.S. and was now an independent. As Minister of the Economy, Macron was at the forefront of pushing through business-friendly reforms. In February 2015, he pledged that the government would force through reforms despite opposition from the parliament. 2017 French Presidential Bid On 30 August 2016, Macron resigned from the government ahead of the 2017 presidential election. On 16 November 2016, Macron formally declared his candidacy for the French presidency after months of speculation. In his announcement speech, Macron called for a democratic revolution and promised to unblock France. Macron attracted criticism for his failure to lay out a formal program during his campaign. Despite declaring in November, he had still not released a complete set of proposals by February, attracting both attacks from critics and concern among allies and supporters. Macron accumulated a wide array of supporters, securing endorsements from François Bauru of the Democratic Movement, Modem, Nup Daniel Cohn-Bendit, the ecologist candidate François Darugui of the primary of the left, and Socialist MP Richard Ferrand, Secretary General of En Marche, as well as numerous others, many of them from the Socialist Party but also a significant number of centrist and center-right politicians. Political Positions Macron has been described by some observers as a social liberal. Economy Macron has notably advocated in favor of the free market and reducing the public finances deficit. He supports the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, CETA between Canada and the European Union. Foreign Policy Macron controversially described France's colonization of Algeria as a crime against humanity in an interview with local media. 
Macron was in 2012 a young leader with the French American Foundation, a pro-American organization founded in the 1970s by two U.S. members of the Council on Foreign Relations. Regarding Syria, Macron has articulated a position midway between political ostracism of the Assad regime and exclusive support for the rebels, consistent with the French government's pre-existing policy since 2011. He supports the continuation of President Hollande's policies on Israel, also opposes the BDS movement, and has refused to state a position on recognition of the state of Palestine. European Union Emmanuel Macron was described by some as Europhile. In July 2015, while challenging the loaded question of the 2015 Greek referendum, Macron called not to cause automatic ejection of Greece from the Eurozone and not doing the Versailles Treaty of Eurozone, in which case, no, side won. He believed that the Greek and European leaders co-produced the Greek government debt crisis. Immigration Unlike many French socialists, including former Prime Minister Manuel Valls, Macron supports the open-door policy toward immigrants and refugees pursued by Angela Merkel in Germany. Period of review should be considerably shortened, and that all those whose claims fail must be deported immediately. Quote. Security and Terrorism Macron believes that the proposed reform bill on deprivation of citizenship for French-born and naturalized citizens convicted on terrorism charges was not in a concrete solution, and believes that the endless prolongation of the state of emergency raises legitimate questions. He advocates an increase in state funding of intelligence agencies. Macron calls for a restoration of community policing and considers that the management of some major risks must be delegated to the associations or the private sector. He considers that his proposal to provide each young adult a culture pass of 500 question mark question mark may encourage young people to discover the culture of France and deter terrorism. Environment Ahead of the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference, Macron called for acceleration of the ecological transition and advocated balance between ecological imperatives and economic requirements, an objective that the French government seeks to achieve by fighting on five fronts innovation, simplification, strengthening of our energy efficiency and during summer of 2016, he defended the use of diesel fuel for which he believes there shouldn't be a hunt, since it remains at the heart of the French industrial policy. Macron expressed this opinion in the aftermath of the Volkswagen emissions scandal for which he was heavily criticized by his party. In 2016, Macron proposed that France secures its supplies in the most strategic materials using three levers, the circular economy and the recovery of materials contained in the end of life of the products. Although he is skeptical about the construction of the Aeroport du Grand West, Macron believes that the construction should start since the people backed the project on the 2016 local referendum. Secularism In July 2016, at the first meeting of En Marche, Macron expressed opposition to the ban on Muslim headscarves in universities, stating, Personally, I do not believe we should be inventing new texts, new laws, new standards, in order to hunt down veils at universities and go after people who wear religious symbols during field trips. Quote, in an interview with the French news magazine Marianne, Macron asserted that secularism is not designed to promote a republican religion, and responded to comments by Manuel Valls and Jean-Pierre Chevenement regarding the practice of Islam in French society by condemning the notion that citizens should be discreet in their religious practice stating that historical precedents when we asked for discretion in matters of religion did not bring honor to the republic. Quote, 
personal life. Macron is married to Bridget Trano, who is 24 years older than him and was his teacher in La Providence High School, Amiens. His parents initially attempted to split the couple by sending him away to Paris to finish the final year of his schooling, as they felt his youth made this relationship inappropriate, but the couple stayed together after he graduated, and were married in 2007.